They literally, they saw Lux to me and they just quit the game. <laughs> yahoo, 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 yahoo. What is up, YouTube? I am Super Yankee. And in today's video, I'm going to teach you how to climb all the way to diamond from silver using the Arsonist Lux build. We have about a week and a half before set 6.5 drops out and they actually get rid of Lux and Heimerdinger, which means you have a solid week where you can literally climb from silver all the way to diamond. Literally, if you play this build, like I'm gonna show you in this video, it's only gonna take you like three or four days. And with that being said, I'm gonna show you one of the diamond four games I recently played where I took first place with this build. Let's go. The first thing we're going to do early game is prioritize getting our three core items on Lux. Jeweled Gauntlet, Blue Staff, and Infinity Edge. The most important of the three being Blue Staff. So in the pinwheel, try to get a tier, try to get a glove, or try to get a rod. And if you can't get any of those items, go for probably Chain Vest or Mega Chunk Cloak because they're really good on Vex. Vex is actually the second champion that you want to get your items on, and it's really important actually because she's gonna tank up all the damage in the front line that's gonna allow Lux to have the time to shoot the back row. Next thing you wanna know about this comp is augments. Augments are super important and will determine whether you go fourth or first. You wanna get augments that are gonna synergize with AP, but if you don't have any of those augments, like the ones you just saw on the screen, built different, smoke bomb, and then metabolic accelerator, you wanna get augments that are gonna allow you to last longer in the game so you can get later into your comp because late game is really when this comp shines, mid to late game. Now in terms of champions that you wanna put on your board, you wanna prioritize arsonists. But I always recommend building the Yordle 3 comp first because it's a really good econ generator and two of the Yordles that are in the Yordle comp are arsonists. Also, until you hit level six, don't hit that refresh button. Don't hit that refresh button. I know gambling is fun, but just don't do it. You know, just don't do it, I can't stress that enough. Because back when I was in silver, I used to do it all the time and I would never come in first place. You gotta save your gold for this comp because it's a really high level comp. You need to get Lux too fast because that's when your comp really comes online. Lux to Heimerdinger too. Heimerdinger is your stand in unit until you get to Lux. And because he's still in the game, that's why I recommend using him because he's still really OP. It's kind of like playing Mercenaries, which is also another engine that's getting taken out of the game, but it's not important how much you lose early because once you get your mid-game board established, you're going to be wrecking other people. Annihilate them. And that mid-game board is going to have to have your primary carry, either Heimerdinger or Lux, too, with all their items. Don't take Heimerdinger out until you have Lux 2. And I know it's kind of like you want to jump the gun, you want to do it, but Lux 1 just can't do the damage to the back row to justify the transition. If you see Victor in the shop, buy the Victor. Victor is definitely a really good arsonist to put into the comp. Change Twisted Fate for the Victor. Don't change Ziggs because Ziggs synergizes with Janna or Blitzcrank, giving you the scrap buff, which is actually really important because it gives shielding to all your units, which makes them a little more tanky. And yeah, just have fun with it. Just get that Lux to try to stay like above 30 gold when you're rolling. You don't want to go below 30 gold in that sense because then your econ is not going to be great for pushing level 8. The comp does really, really well at level 8 because that's when you're going to get all of your traits activated if you have the right units. But you need to push level 8 in order to get there, in order to get to like the top 4 spot. If you're not level 8, you're not going to get into the top 4. But if you are level 8, you're definitely going to get into the top 4. And if you have the right units, you can get into the top three. If you have all the right units and you have level eight and you have the right items on all the units, if you get Lux three in the end game, you can get first place. Super pog. Like this game, I actually went Lux three and the guy didn't even want to play the round when I got Lux three. It was insanity. Anyway, with that being said, guys, this week is the last week before 6.5. No? Oh! oh! They literally just quit! <laughs> they literally, they saw Lux 3 and they just quit the game. I guarantee you, if you play this comp the way I showed you, you'll be able to get out of whatever rank or division you're stuck in right now, before the new set drops.
yo, I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.